All right, so I got that oil pan already installed in there, so I'm gonna wait an hour, and while I'm waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the turbo itself. I am gonna go ahead and put the fittings on there, make sure they're tight. Check all these bolts, make sure they're tight, and everything else is tight. And I can start putting on the manifold, turbo, turbo bolts, and all of that. All right. All right, so um, the problem with this is the gasket that it came with, oil return was kind of basically worn down already it was damaged so I went ahead and got this rubber uh, gasket uh, specifically for oil and stuff as the paper says here so it's a rubber fiber sheet for timing covers fuel pump mounting differential distributor base for oil water and gasoline so hopefully this works out but I do have to trace it. I, I don't know why, but I don't have a pencil around, so I'm gonna use a wire, a sharpie. I tried to line it up as best that I, that I could, but this is this is basically what I can do. I'll see if I can cut it. I mean, if I do, I don't know, I can chase that in like like this. It, it covers it up, but I'm not sure why. When I take it off, it looks kind of like I don't know. Like a whack. Yeah, I'll cut this up, put some holes in it, see how it goes. <laughs> so I got it close enough using a hole puncher, basically. But it looks like it'll line up and, and give it a good seal, so it should work out. It's a really, a really nice gasket though. So I'll, I'll tighten it up, see what it looks like, and we'll go from there. All right, you guys, so it's been an hour. I thought I torqued down the oil pan bolts to 6.5 newton meters, I think, or 5 foot pounds of torque. And while I was doing that, I was putting on the fittings and stuff for the turbo. So, got the oil feed, oil drain with my funky looking gasket, and what the coolant lines, the coolant um, lines, yeah, whatever they're called. And I also used um, Permatex tread sealant on some of these. I used it on here and here. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's gonna help because it's high temperature. But definitely used it in the coolant lines and the other one because um, if I read correctly, it's like a a talon tape replacement. Hopefully, it works with no leaks, got them all tightened out. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is to finally put on the turbo manifold. First things first is to install the heat shield for the uh, turbo manifold. That'll help protect the oil line from heating up. And again, it's a hex key, just like this with a washer. Don't forget the washer. All right, so I got the in, uh, turbo manifold all mapped up. Um, you actually put these bolt right here. I put little anti Z's on them just to make sure they don't want to see stuff. I'll be able to take them out next time. But there are these bolts right here. And it should be the black ones. And they do come up. They do come with a. Uh, I think it's a lock washer, what they call it. So now, there's a little problem here. Um, the guy gave me this thing with a bolt stuck right there. So what I ended up doing is just drilling it out so it's just kind of the bolt just kind of falls through so not too sure if it's gonna work good or not but I'm just gonna put a bolt in there called the turbo basically the same way that this is because you're supposed to put these three studs in there and then hold the turbo hopefully it works out well I'm gonna find that right now after I tighten everything up we shall see at this point don't drop anything in that turbo manifold because whatever gets in there will go out the turbo and if it's something metal a screw or not your turbo will just basically uh, be useless because all of it's just gonna get shredded so anyway you got the gasket there don't forget that finally the turbo is gonna go in there I'm gonna need two hands because this thing is really heavy there she is, slowly but surely it's getting there. So close, yet so far. 
we still can't put oil on that oil pan for 24 hours next up is i'm gonna go ahead and install the pulley mounting hardware that they have so to do that you need a hex key there's a little hole that you put in there once you turn this and you stick that in there and it'll loosen up the belt which will allow you to loosen up all these things right here i'm gonna go ahead and do that all right so took the turbo again i had to take these off just needs a little uh power just gotta basically just gotta like force it out then the the hardware that you are gonna need are these spacers right here and the long ones provided by the kit so this one with the lip will go in here and the lip is going to be inside and this one's just a regular one so we'll get, go ahead and put that and we can torque them down to spec along with the mounting bracket by the way and it's going to look just like that and i'm going to go ahead and torque these uh the manual does say 36 newton meters so uh we're not i guess we're not using freedom units today because too much work converting so i'm gonna get my torque bench torque these 36 newton meters and we should be good to go but note i just actually did was um don't forget to put back the original washer behind that spacer right there so yeah so i forgot to do that went back went ahead and did it so you guys don't forget you guys are doing the install again 36 foot pounds no 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 36 newton meters set your torque up to that and bolt it up a little update, I uh, took off the, the support beam right here, just a couple of bolts, one there, two, three, and bottom four, five, take that off, you get a little bit more room, plus I was missing a couple of bolts falling through here in this fan, finally found them. Next up is the oil, uh, oil drain, wrapped it up in thermal wrap with some metal ziplock, hopefully keep the temps down, keep it safer. Other than that, I'm gonna put this on uh, and strap it in and make progress. Alright, you guys, so by this time it's already morning. Uh, an update that I kind of done off camera is wrap the fan stuff or fan wiring harness with the this uh, thermo wrap. Sorry, it's still morning and zip tied it through here. So basically, relocating it as the instruction manual cell says because there is going to be a uh, your yeah, I remember it's called is it it's not a test pipe is it some little thing that here so that is done also did the fittings right over here the oil switch so it's going to be that T connection basically three stuff this was a paint tape off I didn't have a ratchet big enough to actually fit so I had to put an angle with what I had these things right here that was a pain like probably an eight to an inch turn every time kept on slipping once you have those on you should be good to go connect back your oil harness thingy and you should be good now I did find a bolt similar to what should be over here the one that doesn't have treading so that's a good thing I don't have to go to the store to go get it and it fits perfectly I'm gonna go ahead and put this on Get the turbo all settled so that it's kind of semi-permanent in there and I'm gonna go from there. Alright you guys so I skipped a couple of steps in here. First things first uh, I took off all the stuff again which was a pain. This thing, all the piping, the intercooler and took off these four bolts right here on the intake manifold spacer take it out and there's going to be a loop for the cooling lines in there so note to self you're going to do this so take, off, take off that loop first and do your, your um, uh, water lines or coolant lines first so that you don't have to do the same mistake i did of taking off everything once everything is on there as you can see a lot of, uh, a lot has happened uh, kind of it's because this is my daily and i really really got to get this car on the road so first of all the turbo blanket and uh, I had trouble putting the springs on so I just kind of put it there really snug and then these ones are self uh, you can basically do them they're self-explanatory just put them in with uh, the couplings find the right size and then tighten them and then um, one of the things that was kind of a pain 
could do was this right here, this downpipe, I believe. And that's because there's bolts under here which are hard to reach basically. So you either gotta manually do it with a wrench like this or use a, this one saved the day for me. So definitely you could go in there and actually tighten them uh, a little at a time. Now the problem is, uh, if you guys are installing this, do the bottom first because you need these things loose to be able to lift it up and actually spin it or else the bolt itself gets caught on the downpipe itself. So do the bottom first and then move upward and then the bracket. Other than that, uh, it's getting close, really close. Um, other updates, um, so I'm putting the, the uh, whatever this thing called, the frame so I can mount the inner cooler and finish up the piping. And after that, we're, we're, we're getting close. Another thing to note is you do need this foam thing right here. As you guys can see, I do have it cut up, but try to close it as much as I can because it helps isolate the wind to go into your radiator rather than the engine bay. So do make sure that you have that when you take it off. After that's done, I uh, got the intercooler with the this, this thing right here that you had to drill. That's also in the instruction manual. Not too bad, the only thing, the only problem I found was I didn't end up using the spacers for some reason. Um, eh, but it works. This thing is sturdy. It's gonna stay put. And then another another thing to note is it'll help to actually take off the bottom part of this, which was just a couple of bolts and clips. Again, they're they're self-explanatory. If you kind of like chug gun and pull on it, you'll be able to know which clips and bolts to actually take off. Other than that, um, I have my oil come in also I forgot to mention I did order a map sensor from someone that's also come in and it's it's nearing the end of the install process the final thing I'm probably I, I, I need to do basically is do the oil cooler stuff and then once we have the oil cooler stuff put the filter on and that should be it put some oil on I think I've already I've almost reached the 24 hour mark Working on this, it's it's painful. And you get some cuts, bruises everywhere in your hands, but hopefully in the end it'll be worth it. So stay tuned.